Nick. I am half of the Brotherhood Sports Podcast. My brother um, has been kind of in and out. He just had a new baby. So, um, but yeah, like I said, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're not going to take up too much of your time today. Thank so you. basically, <laughs> before we get started, um, just kind of give us a little brief introduction about yourself, and then we'll jump into the questions. Okay. Well, I'm Leilani Bustamante. I am a UMKC commit. I just recently committed. Um, I'm a middle infielder, and uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, so thank you for that. And so we'll start out with, we kind of always start out with talking about the, the recruitment, commitment, and all that mm-hmm. good stuff, because sometimes it can be a journey. It can be stressful to some people. Um, obviously, there's the kind of ups and downs to it. Um, so kind of just take us through that process and how that was for you and your family. As you said, you just recently committed. Um, so just take us through that process. It honestly, it wasn't too bad of a process. I didn't put a lot of weight on myself. I wasn't really worried about the college part to begin with. I'm just going to go out there and play the game that I love to play. It Nothing changes whether there's colleges there or not. So I went out there every game with the mindset of I'm out here to play. Like I'm not here to only impress colleges, but I'm out here to impress myself. Like this is the game that I've always loved and yes. nothing it. Awesome. Well, I love that attitude. That is awesome. Um, so next, uh, you, you talked about, you know, how much you love the game and everything. So kind of for you, when was that moment where you kind of knew that, where you kind of knew this is something like you really wanted to do and you wanted to take seriously? Because obviously what we've learned here, talking to a bunch of uh, softball players and everything, um, that it you, you do a lot of stuff, you know, whether it's your school team, travel team, this and that, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. So kind of when was that moment for you where you kind of was like, hey, I really love doing this and I want to pursue this seriously? Well, I started playing softball about three. And okay, so yeah, we're really young. Around six years old. I know it's really young, but I really had that passion for the game. Like T-ball, I wasn't the one playing with flowers. I was out, yeah. I was out there getting the balls, everything. And so around six years old, I really knew like this is what I love to do. So ever since I've never played any other sport, I've only played softball. So that love for the game through the ups and downs, I've always thought softball, like, this is what I love. Like, I'm going to keep going. And so I've yeah. always felt more in love with the game. Awesome. And, and hey, like uh, the saying goes, when you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> so, um, and that that's incredible, you know, because some people, you know, talked about that. There are a lot of people we've talked to, whatever sport they've played. Uh, it was one of those things where it was like, man, I love doing this. And, uh, you know, we just talked to somebody that's uh, like playing three sports. And like you said, you knew like this was the sport you want to focus on and this is what you want to do, you know. And and I think, you know, to each its own, you know, I think it's, you know, I played uh, multiple sports. But like when you really love a sport, like that's just what you really want to focus on. And it does take up a lot of time, you know, especially if you when you work at that. Um, so next, now you may not be able to describe this feeling at all, but if you can, um, how does it feel to you when you walk out there um, and you get ready to play the game? Like you said, you're not really there for just college scouts or anything like that. You're just kind of there to play the game you love. Um, and I love that you said that. So kind of how do you feel when you step out over those lines and you're in that grass and that dirt um, and you're about to play a game? How does that feel for you? It's excitement. All of it. It's just like. I'm really out here playing the game that I love, and I just take it all in. It's a lot to take in, and I'm out there. There's nothing really on my mind other than this pitch, this at-bat, yeah, this ball that's going to come to me. There's nothing really else on my mind. Like, when I step on the field, I have no distractions of nothing else but this game. And that's what really made me fall in love with the game, was I'm out here playing the sport that I love to play. and there's nothing more to it. Yeah. And that's, and that's a great thing. And I love that because we have been talking just about the words you mentioned excitement. We've been talking a lot about that with a lot of different athletes and a variety of sports. Um, this goes back to even a couple, a few weeks ago when we did an in-person interview with a couple of basketball players um, and just, they brought that word up excitement. And I, I like the word joy. I love using that, which is the same thing. You know, I love just using like have a joy for it because number one, not everybody gets to do it, you know, um, not everybody is, is, you know, especially going to the next level. Um, so always remember that why you do it and that excitement for it. I love that, that because 
through all the stress, you know, whether it's a loss, a defeat, an injury, the ups and downs of a season, like you can kind of forget sometimes, yeah. you know, that excitement. So I love that you kind of said that. Um, and I'm kind of sensing theme too with you that you really just love that. And I love that about you, you know? Um, so kind of for you, this is kind of an on the field question now, like playing wise, um, what is something for you, especially coming up, going into your upcoming seasons and obviously before you get to the next level, um, what, have, what is something maybe you've been kind of trying to work on or maybe improve or add a little bit? I know that my field play is all there. All of it's there. But right now what I'm working on for myself is getting stronger for the next level. Okay. My, yeah. working, my getting faster for the next level. And I feel like that's a really big part of it. It's not so much your field play. But it's more of like, are you getting stronger? Are you working on this? Because getting stronger works into like, oh, me hitting the ball. I'm going to hit the ball harder because of the power that I produce for my legs. So that's really what I'm working on right now. Yeah, and that's that's something that from we, we talk to people, whether they've been in seniors at the next level or freshmen starting out, but that's more, you, there is more focus on that when you get there. Um, mm -hmm. Like instead of like right now when you're younger, like, Usually, like right now, you're you may do a little like I know for me, like I did like a little weight training and stuff like that. So, but that is something people have talked a lot about um, before they get uh, to the next level is you know just working on their strength and everything. So that's definitely going to help you that you're starting now. Yeah. And uh, next, and this can be um, obviously softball can be in this. Um, so it's really just about what you love and what's most important to you. And that's really the question is like, what are you know, you can, if you can narrow it down to three things, like what are three most important things to you? First and foremost, God. God's had my back through everything, the ups, the downs, the downs that I've had in the game. He's brought me back up. Mm. So if I've ever had a down in the game, like, oh, I had a bad at bat. It's for a reason to yeah. build me as the athlete. Like not everything's going to go your way. Yes. So, so God, first and foremost, my family and my friends, they've provided, my parents have provided me with everything <laughs> I've ever needed. They've sacrificed so much of themselves yeah. to give back to me. And so I'm very grateful for that. And the game itself would be my third one. It's brought me from having like, say I have a bad day at school, I go to practice and it's all gone. Yeah, like, it just kind of goes away. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I love that. And um, those are obviously three things that are really great. And, you know, just going through those things, obviously starting with, like you said, God, because that's kind of why you remember why you get to do all this and everything, um, just the blessing that it is. And family, which is something, you know, a lot of uh, athletes have talked to us about with that support of doing everything for them, uh, you know, because it takes a lot of uh, time, energy, effort, uh, you know, even in, even finances go into it, you know, or everything else. And obviously just the game that you love and, uh, that's why we do this because it's, it's just more like, you know, it's not just softball to, you, you know, it's something you really love. And that's why we always say it's more than a game. That's kind of like one of our little slogans that we say, because it is more than a game does so many people, no matter what game that is you play, you know, we've interviewed about eight different sports. I mean, we've even had like uh, uh competition cheerleading on here or whatever, but it, whatever somebody loves to do is like what we want to highlight. And obviously for you, that's softball. Um, so the next question is, and I, and I love getting these answers, um, cause I just like taking even little bits and pieces for myself. Um, but what is some good advice you've been given lately that you kind of, kind of stuck with you? And this can be from coaches, teammates, fan members, whatever, but what is something like you kind of heard lately that kind of you, you kept with you? My dad has joked this in my head. Um, nothing comes easy. You always mm -hmm. have to work for it. Nothing is ever going to come easy if you're not working nothing's going to come in your favor. So yes. That's, and that's, and the, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, and it's so key too, you know, because it is, you know, we actually, when we were doing an interview one time, uh, this was an in-person interview and I asked him like, uh, the, I forgot the question, but it was something to do with an answer. An easy answer would be like working hard, you know, hard work. And he was kind of hesitant to even say that because so many people say it. Cause it sounds cliche, but it is so true, you know, and like you said, you know, to with that, nothing comes easy. And that's because you're always going to have to work for something. And especially like no doubt about it in athletics, you know, like obviously athletics, academics, everything like that, you're going to have to work. And you can't just, even if you get to a point where you're like, 
okay, I'm good. Like you probably shouldn't just stay at that point. You never should get complacent. Work hard, you know. Um, so I love that advice. And you said that was from your dad, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so next, uh, speaking of, you know, like the academic and everything side of it, because we know when you get to next level, there's, there's a lot that goes into everything. You know, when you play a sport, you spend so much time with it. So how do you kind of manage everything that you got to do with, with all of that stuff, you know, your sport, your academic side of thing, just everything. How are you kind of staying on top of that now to get yourself ready for later on? Well, it's always student athlete first. I've always, I, I've always put my books before anything. So I make sure I stay on top of everything so I don't fall behind. I've always maintained a 3.8 or higher. Nice, congrats. Yeah. And so I've always managed to stay on top of my books because without without school, there is no softball. Yes. So that's the biggest part. Yeah, and we've heard, you know, like, and again, this can be something, again, I've said from, you know, no matter what year somebody is in, um, that has been a big part of, like, you know, managing your time well, talking about it, like, you know, getting a plan down, um, not putting it off. Um, and because like you said, it is, and in, and especially in this day and age, we kind of, there's a lot of people that forget about the student part of the the athlete, you know. Um, it, I think it's very easy in our culture days with the college world and, and how it's growing and all the NIL stuff and everything like that. So I think we forget about that part, but it is very important. And that's why we want to highlight that too, and not just focus yeah. on the sport itself. Um so for you coming up, uh, we'd like to know kind of what's coming up for you. So what is coming up for you here in the near future? Like college-wise or? Just just like softball-wise, everything. I mean, not college because we know college is later on, but like whatever you got coming up here in the near future. I have coming up, well, it's high school season starting. So last year I had the best batting average on the team. Okay. So I batted about a 758 last year. Wow. Yeah. And so, and this is uh, high school season. Yeah, this is high school season. Okay, okay. And so, I want to beat that. I want to still maintain keeping first team. And so, that's my biggest work right now. And the work barely, now that I'm committed, the work barely starts now, the hard work. And that's the biggest part. Yeah, and I think um, it's it's very key uh, that you said that too, um, because I think a lot of people sometimes forget, like, when you like commit to a school, like you can kind of stop working, mm-hmm. but I think that's not the case. You know, you don't need to stop working because it's like, that's when you want to start. And cause, cause they, these people recruited you and then talked to you for a reason they want you. So obviously to do your part, to stay up. And for one, that's a, that's an awesome batting average. Number one. Um, so, and that's a big goal to hit. Um, so yeah, good luck with that. And that, when is that starting for you guys? Cause I know in every state it's kind of different. We start, well, we already started. We had our first home opener this okay. past Saturday. And so we have a Palm Springs tournament coming up. So we have a lot coming up. Awesome. Well, good luck with that and just everything coming up for you. I know the high school season, it can be long and, uh, you know, ups and downs, but good luck with that. And obviously good luck before you get to college, which we'll, we'll talk with you before then. We kind of always, uh, in, maybe in the middle of something, we kind of little just write a little message asking how everything's going. So we'll talk to you before then. But thank you so much for your time and you have thank a good you. day. Thank you. Thank you. you too.